Okay, so today we're going to be having a look at creating multi -mes. So the first thing you need to do in Photoshop is go to File, all the way down to Automate, and click on this Photo Merge. Once you've clicked that, you'll get a dialog box up that looks like this. Make sure you have it selected on Auto. Then you go down here and make sure that you untick where it says Blend Images Together. You then go to Browse find where you've saved your images and you select all of the images that you're going to take to blend together okay open them and press ok and photoshop's going to take a little while to think but eventually you'll get all four images opened up as separate layers on the same image so if you look down here this is called your layers panel and you can see that i've got four different photographs all opened up at the same time if I click this little eye next to each layer, it hides that layer. So I can go all the way down and see all of my photographs. So what we want to do is hide these first two layers and make sure that this second layer is selected. You'll know it's selected because, because it changes colour. It goes to a sort of light grey colour. Once you've got that image selected, you want to go down to the bottom of your layers panel and select here where it says mask and what that will do is it will create a little mask next to your layer you know when you've done it because you'll get this white square come up once you've got that you need to select your brush tool which is the one over here that looks a little bit like a paintbrush now this is very similar to when we've done um, our editing of our adjustment layers so once you've got the brush tool selected the first thing you want to do is right click and you'll get this message up here you want to make sure that your hardness is all the way down to 0% and you want to bring the size of your brush up to about 500 pixels. It can be slightly more, slightly less. Once you've done that, just click off of your image and that uh, dialog box will disappear. The first thing you're going to look at is where is your model. So when I hide this layer, you can see that my model pops up here, but when I show it, she disappears. So to remove that, we make sure that our brush is on black and if we just click and drag where that model is in the image you'll see her start to appear now i'm going to zoom in a little bit by pressing Control plus and then hold down the space bar and you get a little hand and you can click and drag so you can see i've not quite erased everywhere so you want to make sure that you're really really careful when erasing it to make sure that the whole image is erased and the other thing you want to look at is the shadows. So you can see where, because my model moved in the second image, she's actually creating a shadow underneath the desk so that you can't see anything else going on underneath the desk. So now that I've got that sorted, I'm going to press Control minus to zoom back out. And you can now see that I've got two models in the same frame. We're then going to do the exact same thing using our third layer. So we're going to use the mask tool to create that mask. And then if I just hide that layer, I can see my model is here and here. So when I show it again, I know I need to erase in these certain spaces. Okay. So there's that one. And again, just double checking that you're getting everything, making sure you're keeping an eye on the shadows. Going over to the second area where my model is and rubbing it all out. Now with this space, where the model's moved and where the source of the light is, it's causing this shadow to come behind her foot and her leg. And you can see, although she's here, the shadow looks a bit strange. And we're trying to make this look as realistic as possible in order to sort of confuse your viewer. So you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on those shadows and following them up to where they need to be. So now that we've done that, we're going to do the exact same thing on this final layer. So we're going to need to rub out the three separate places. Now, again, making sure that we're really, really nice and careful with our shadows because we're trying to make it look as realistic as possible. really keeping an eye on those shadows so now that I've done that you can see I've got 
four different models. They're all the same person. They're all in the same frame. The next thing we're going to do once we've finished creating our multi me is go to file, save as, and you get a dialogue box up like this. I would suggest you title it multi me or multi me one and make sure you save it in your personal area. And when you go to save it, you need to change the format. So at the moment it's on Photoshop PDF, you want to make sure it's on JPEG. Once you've selected JPEG, you click save and you'll get another dialog box coming up. You want to make sure that your quality slider is all the way up to large file. This means that when you come to print your image, it will come out really, really high quality. That's how you create a multi-me.